Hello, this is Alyssa Jones with Business Solutions, and today we're going to talk about an introduction to Odoo Sales. We'll firstly go through a quick introduction. We will talk about questions for managers that we're going to answer. We will then go through a workflow diagram of Odoo Sales. And lastly, we'll walk through an example with a little bit of analysis based on the questions we asked. Often when people look at the sales functionality of Odoo, they're really trying to answer some key questions that are going to help improve their business. Some of the questions that a manager might need to answer using the workflows in Odoo are, can I have a different invoice address to my order address? Can I put notes on my sales order? Can I have a customer sign their quotation to confirm they want to move ahead? Is there an online payment solution for the sales orders? What sales reporting does Odoo provide? Odoo provides you with tools to be able to answer these questions and to better manage your sales orders. If you understand how to set up Odoo in the right way and analyze the results correctly. Before I show you the system, I would like to take you through the workflow of Odoo. This will give you a good understanding of how one object in Odoo flows to the next. This is a simple workflow diagram for a manufacturing company that produces barbecue smokers. The portion we'll be concentrating on is the first swim lane. Sales orders can be created on their own or they can come from CRM leads or opportunities. The sales document for a lot of companies is the main document that can trigger deliveries, purchases, manufacturing orders, and accounting transactions. Please review our other videos to go into further detail of these applications. Now let's look at my OG database. This is my homepage with all my applications. We are going to concentrate on the sales application you can see here. Once I click into the application, it will default to my quotations. This is a list of all my open quotations. Depending on the access you have, you can remove this default filter and see all the quotations across the company. This home screen is a good overview that shows the value of the order, if it is a quotation or a sales order, and if the invoice is required to be created or has already been created. By clicking on this button at the end of the screen, there are additional fields you can add to this view if you require. We are now going to raise a basic quotation. To do so, we click on New. Odoo is set up to allow defaults to appear by working your way through the fields from top to bottom and left to right. We'll start off by entering our customer. I have the setting turned on that allows me to have a different customer, invoice and delivery address if I need to. If I want to choose a different invoice address, I can do so by clicking on the field and changing it over. If I have an expiration date for the quotation, I can enter it or alternatively, I can leave this field blank. Both the price list and the payment terms will default from what is on the contact. If there are no payment terms on the contact, I can enter them here. Next, I will add in my product. I can start entering my product using the description or information from the product card. Or if I can't find my product, I can click on search more and I will see a list of my products. My customer has requested a 250 gallon smoker and a trailer mount for the smoker. If I need to adjust the price or adjust the quantity, I can do so by clicking in the fields. If the product is a stockable product, the graph that appears on the line item tells me if I have the stock available. This can adjust though, depending on your quotation date. For example, if I date the quotation forward, I may have stock due to come in during that period of time. You can view this by clicking on the graph and it will tell you all the ins and outs for that product.
In this example, my 250 gallon trailer mount is available, but my 250 gallon smoker is not available as this is a manufactured item. If I want to split up my quote, I can do so by putting in sections. And moving them. Or if I need to put particular notes, I can ent enter them for a particular line item. I can move these as well. Once I am happy, I can email my quote. It will be sent to the email address assigned to my customer. If I want to add it to go out to additional people, I can, but they are required to be added as a contact in Odoo. Customers get two views when they receive the quotation email. They can either review it in the PDF form or they can review it online. The customer can then enter a comment if they want, and this will appear on the sales order chatter. I go back to my quotation. You'll see that that note has appeared in my chatter. There are two ways I can turn my quotation into sales order. I can either do this by clicking on the confirm button at the top of the quotation, or at this point in time, the customer can go in and enter a signature online if required and also make a payment if you have one of Odoo's payment gateways set up. I'll click into my customer preview. I can see my quote. I click sign and pay. I can, the customer can have an auto, they can decide to draw it. And then if there was a payment gateway set up, I would be able to enter my payment through my payment gateway. Odoo has several integrated payment gateways such as Adyen that can be integrated. The products I have, one requires manufacturing, one requires to be delivered. So once I hit confirm, you'll see the documents potentially can be triggered. In here, it will be a delivery. Once I create my invoice in the process, you will also see that this appears in the documents. So there's one place for all the linked documents. Finally, like all Odoo modules, Sales has the ability to build out sales reports using the sales analysis by clicking on reporting. In here, I can build all sorts of reports. For example, if I click on the pivot view, I can add in my products. And see what the total sales value has been for every product. This is just a quick introduction on how to use Odoo Sales. And as you can see, you can easily organize all your leads and opportunities, allowing you to report out and find key information. For example, potentially how many sales you're expecting and the value of those sales through the upcoming months. If you're interested in learning more, please feel free to reach out to the sales team at Vista. We'd love to help you.